There's something very, very wrong with us. I feel like such an idiot. Quite right, so you should. We're mutants. Oh, ungratefully. <laughs> Find out more at JiggyJagwire.com. It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar. You show back on the air, doing the damn thing as always. I love the skip. Oh, I love the skip. Skype or whatever the hell you want to call it is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar. You show. Hopefully, the the skip call is on the air. I just love I just love Skype and all its all its craziness. Uh, you're, you're live on the air. Who is this? Hi, this is uh, Liz Strickland from JNLT Photography. Hey, what's going on, my friend? I was just waiting on you to give us a holler. Uh, how are you doing today, my friend? <laughs> Fantastic. It's beautiful here in Toronto. We have amazing, amazing weather. It's hot. Well, talk to us a little bit about uh, what you do and... and uh, Ted, first of all, tell us a little bit about, about your photography business, my friend. Well, we are J and L T, uh, and that name comes from both of us. We're John and Liz. We're a husband and wife photography team. And uh, basically, uh, we uh, have a home business where we uh, do weddings, we do uh, family portraits, we do uh, expecting lady, we do boudoir, uh, we do, um, my husband does some real estate, uh, and uh, yeah, we do a little bit of everything. Well, uh, how, how long you been doing the, uh, the, the, the photography business there, my friend? Um, well, I, our business it has a, a short while. However, my husband, John, he's been photographing for about 30 years. So I'll let, uh, I'll let uh, John talk about it. Hello. John, how you doing, my friend? I was, uh, good. I was just, uh, pretty good, actually. I was just, uh, just inquiring about, uh, how how long you've been taking photographs and how how long you've been in the photography business? Oh my goodness, I've been taking pictures. It must be uh, thirty thirty years now, mostly wildlife. And but now I've uh, started some more commercial things like um, glamour. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. Well, that's cool. Well, uh, is it, tell, tell us a little bit more about the, a uh, little bit more about the the, the biography. Uh, d- d- talk to us about what, what what you guys do and uh, and and how we find you guys on the internet. We could be found at jnltphotography.com, and we are also on Facebook, and we're also on Twitter. Twitter. We have a Facebook fan. Uh, Fan page. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. Uh, we are pretty much everywhere on the social media. Well, well, tell us about uh, you, you guys. I understand do some traveling for your uh, for, for your photography. You go you go all over. Uh, you, you pretty much you, you guys go all over the place. Talk to us about your uh, your travel. We can travel. We like uh, visiting people. Uh, in different places. So we're actually more people oriented right now. Uh, it used to be a long time ago we liked to visit places, but uh, we discovered people. Visiting people is um, really where it's at right now. And we have a really well defined niche as well. We're working with uh, people's budgets and um, we can tailor our, our photography packages. For in the end, so we will discover with our clients uh, what they um, are budgeted, or how they are budgeted, and that's really how how we base uh, what, how we're gonna approach a shoot. Well, f- f- fill us in a, a little bit on the on the photography process. If somebody were to come to you and and want to get some photos done, take us through the uh, take us through it step by step, my friend. We we usually meet on the internet. And we meet also by word of mouth. And we would like, in the best case scenario, to arrange uh, a pre-meet, to arrange a meeting before the actual shoot, if possible. If uh, we can sit down with a potential client 
and we'll hammer out all the details of the shoot. And sometimes it's very complicated, and sometimes it's very straightforward, but it's always an issue of budget. So we work around that, and we're going to tailor everything we do. Our the packages that we offer are digital, so we don't really um, uh, print pictures. We don't, we, don't, we don't offer printed pictures. So we offer a digital package that is... Um, belongs to the client. The client owns the copyright of the package. They own their picture. They're encouraged to, they're welcome to, they're free to um, do whatever they want with their pictures. They can copy them, duplicate them, um, alter them. They can sell them if they like. And usually what we, all, what we like to do in return is we ask the uh, client if we can use some of those pictures um, to promote our business. So maybe there, some of their pictures will show up in our promotional material on the Internet, um, maybe in printed form um, one way or another. And that's really how we go about it. So if we, if we cannot make a, a prearranged meeting, then we will use any means available. We'll use the telephone, we'll use the Internet. Um, we'll hammer out the package um, beforehand as, as fine as we can. And then when we do get together, uh, the shoot usually goes very, very well. There's no surprises, no hidden charges or anything like that, jumping out at anybody. And um, that's, that's really what we aim for. We want a smooth, uh, problem-free shoot, and we want a completely satisfied client. And, and we are a family-oriented business, and we have, you know, uh, kids of our own, so we know that nowadays uh, people are having trouble financially, and with the economy, uh, things are a bit difficult, a little bit more difficult than what they used to be. So we, we want to not have only friends, uh, clients, but we want to make friends as well, and we believe that uh, you know you you give it forward. So whatever we can, however we can help our clients, um, it's going to benefit us, and it's also going to benefit them. Well, uh, t talk to us about uh, where where you see the photography business going. I I know there's there's been lots and lots of changes over the years in the world of uh, photography. Um, uh, oh yes. Talk, talk to us about some some of the major changes you've seen. Well, digital has changed everything for us. I mean, my husband used to shoot Kodachrome. Uh, as, as you heard, he's been shooting for 30 years, so he started with uh, slide and film. Uh, so it was uh, a huge uh, change for us. But we adapt. I mean, everybody has to, and there is a lot of a lot of good technology, a lot of good cameras. But still, there are people that need. Uh, somebody who has that that professionalism and that uh, eye and experience. I mean, 30 years under our, uh, our belt, it, it is quite a bit of time. And and uh, so, yeah, John can talk more about that. Yeah, we've seen a lot of changes. The, the fundamental um, understanding of photography hasn't changed at all. Nowadays, um, practically, very many, many, many people can get really high quality equipment in their hands and they go out and take wonderful shots. They have cameras that they can pretty much set on program or uh, automatic and that camera will do all the thinking for them. And we still see, however, people um, are not happy with the picture that they get. So there's a fundamental understanding that never really changes about uh, photography. And we still work with that. So this is, how, this is where professionals strive to, um, um, let's say, to keep up, to excel, yes, to uh, keep up with uh, all the changes. We can still offer very highly professional uh, uh, look in, in photography, a very difficult to achieve look. Um, one word that really stands out over the last 10 years, 20 years, is uh, prosumerism. Uh, prosumerism is a, is a reflection of um, the technology that has advanced in front of us and has allowed itself to it in our hands. So you don't really need a, a great education in photography to do high quality photographs. And you don't need um, a publisher anymore. You, you can publish yourself on social media now. And that's the driving force. The technology is in the hands, of, uh, it's available to virtually everybody. And 
the uh, the shared experience of this technology is also at everybody's fingertips nowadays. So that's where the new professional needs to really focus on and work within. We need to understand photography very well, but we also need to understand um, the high-tech communication um, advantages that we have in this world now. So we can we can take advantage of it in terms of uh, the photographer uh, being in touch with the client, and we could also take advantage of the photographer sharing his expertise um, in terms of delivering a high-quality product. And that is uh, one of our other goals, is to run workshops and to be able to teach uh, basic photography for a very small minimum fee to people that are aspiring to become uh, photographers uh, professionally or take that as a full-time. Um, and we always take um, students that are willing to to be in uh, what we call an undergraduate to, to learn that. Uh, well, uh, you, you guys, you guys seem to have a uh, have have uh, a lot of experience, uh, uh, a lot of a lot of great background in the photography business. Um, as as we wrap up here with, with you, um, give give us uh, the website one more time, where people can check you guys out. Absolutely, yes. Uh, they can find us at uh, jnltphotography.com. Um, same thing for Facebook. It's Facebook forward slash JNLT Photography. And uh, our phone number, business number is 647-955-0298. They can uh, call us and we would love to sit down and have a coffee with anybody who's looking for wedding photography. We still have some spots in the summer or, again, the workshop that we're thinking of running, um, hopefully uh, by August. And... Uh, Talk to John or Liz, and we're here to help you. We're here to. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for doing this. I, I really enjoyed chatting with you guys. We'll definitely have to have you guys back again. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. Definitely. Well, you have yourself a wonderful afternoon. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank Bye-bye. you. Much. We've got uh, Perry Michael Simon coming up here in a few moments here on the big broadcast. And uh, listening to the Salina Screw Up, and here to the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Show, and he is the Jiggy Jaguar. One of 700 radio show hosts included in the book, Radio Wants You, an intimate portrait of 700 radio shows that welcome guests. What a loser. And this is Interviews from the Past and Present, now available on Jiggy Jaguar.